Let's see if you know enough about algebra and percent to figure out the answer to this question. So the problem is the following. A car dealership has 15 more cars than vans. There are V vans. In terms of V, what percent of all the vehicles are vans? Now, you definitely want to read this problem more than one time, and feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second, and of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, so one more time, a car dealership has 15 more cars than vans. There are V vans. In terms of V, what percent of all the vehicles are vans? Now, I'm going to show you the answer in just one second, but before I do, if you're new to my channel, my name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades, and it is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need additional help in math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below, and if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct uh, solution here is this expression. So 100V over 2V plus 15%. So this is the uh, exact correct answer. So if you have this and you don't have the percent symbol, well, you're slightly off. But if you got this entire thing right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm totally confused. Well, we need to make sure you understand percent to do this problem. And let's go ahead and start on this right now. So the first step in solving any math word problem is to make sure you read it more than one time. So if you just read this problem once, well, you'd probably be confused. So let's read it one more time. So a car dealership has 15 more cars than vans. So we have this uh, dealership, this car dealership, and it has a bunch of vehicles. So in your mind, you can even start kind of modeling what's going on, right? So maybe here is the big lot that all the cars in this dealership have. So we have cars and vans, right? So the car dealership has 15 more cars than vans. There are V number of vans. So in terms of V, what percent of all the vehicles are vans? So once you've uh, read the problem enough times, you need to think about what's going on in terms of a model. So let's just kind of play around with this little sketch right here. So here's the dealership. We have a bunch of cars and vans. We have more cars than vans. Well, uh, specifically, we have 15 more cars than vans, right? So we can kind of think about here, whatever number of vans we have, the cars are gonna be vans plus 15, right? So that's the number of cars. But we're lo uh, what we're looking at, or what the question is, what is the percent out of all the vehicles on this lot that are vans, right? So what percent are vans? So we have to think about the total number of cars, and this can get quite confusing. And a good thing that you can do here, and uh, it's not just in this problem, it's in a lot of math problems, is to uh, use a simple example to see the math, and then we can use some algebra. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about right now. So let's just kind of make up a number for the number of vans, okay? So let's suppose there are two vans. Let's see if we can uh, figure out the answer with real numbers, and then we'll go back to uh, figuring out the answer in terms of this variable V. So if there are two vans, we got to figure out the number of cars and the total number of vehicles on the lot. So let's go down here and check this out. So if we have two vans and there are 15 more cars than vans, well, how many cars do we have? Well, we know uh, we have 15 more. Okay, that means we have to add 15 to the number of vans. So we have two vans. Uh, 2 plus 15 is 17. So that's the total number of cars that we have. So we have 17 cars and two vans. And what's the total number of vehicles on the lot? Well, it's going to be the vans or the number, number of vans plus the number of cars. So that's 2 plus 17 or 19. Okay, so what percent of all these vehicles are vans? Well, we know the number of vans and we have the total number of uh, vehicles on the lot. 
So we have to think in terms of a part out of a whole, right? So how many vans, we're going to basically compare the number of vans to the total number of vehicles on the lot, right? So we want to find the percent of a number or express a fraction as a percent. We're thinking of terms of a part out of a whole, right? So this right here would be the vans and our whole would be the total number of vehicles on the lot. So how many vans do we have? Well, we have two. How many total vehicles uh, do we have? We have 19. So if we take two and divide it by 19, we're going to get a decimal that's approximately 0 0.105. But if we stop right here, well, we're not done, right? Because we want the percent. So this is a decimal, so we have to change this decimal into a percent by moving the decimal, play, uh, decimal point over two places to the right or multiplying by 100. So 0 0.105 times 100 is the actual answer, which would be approximately 10 10.5%. Uh, so this is the mathematical kind of procedure that we need to follow when we're thinking in terms of this problem with this variable V. So if you understand this math, well, then we can uh, hopefully uh, get you to understand the algebra. So I hope you're learning something from this video. And if that's the case, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. This really does help me out on YouTube. Now, if you need additional help in math, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and get back to the problem. So now that we understand how to solve this problem in terms of a simple example with numbers, right? So again, if we uh, let V, the actual number of vans, uh, represent some real number like two, well, we could just kind of calculate through and think about the steps here, the procedures, right? We have to get the total number of vehicles on the lot, and then we have to find the percent of uh, the vans in terms of all the vehicles, right? So we thought that through using a simple example with numbers. So now we have to now think about algebra, right? So we just have to basically do the same thing and keep this variable V in mind. So how many vans do we have? Well, we have V vans, but we have 15 more cars than vans. So how many cars do we have? Well, that's going to be V plus 15, right? So how many vans we have? Just add 15 to it. This is how many cars we have. So what's the total amount of vehicles on the lot? Well, it's going to be the number of vans that we have, which is V, and the number of cars that we have, which is V plus 15. But here we have an opportunity to combine like terms with some simple algebra. So V plus V is 2V, and then here we have this 15. So the total number of vehicles on the lot is 2V plus 15. Okay, so now we need to think about uh, what percent of all the vehicles are vans? So we have to think again in terms of a part out of a whole. So how many vans do we have? Well, we have V vans. And what is the total number of vehicles on the lot? Well, it's going to be that expression, 2V plus 15. But here, this is very much like having this decimal, like 0 0.105. We want the percent. So to get the percent, we have to multiply this decimal by 100 or move the decimal point over two places to the right. So with this algebraic expression, all we need to do is multiply this by 100 or 100 over one. So we're gonna get 100 times V or 100 V over two V plus 15 percent. And this is the correct answer. So again, when you uh, are facing a word problem and you don't really know what to do, try to use this technique where you uh, replace the variables with a simple number, get the math down, think about what to do from, uh, or what to do mathematically in terms of a simple number example, and then go ahead and think about how to solve the problem using algebra. But one more time, this is our final answer, 100V over 2V plus 15%. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 
or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.